Hey kiddos, it's Mrs. Croft here. I'm a second grade teacher at Loman Hill Elementary, and I'm gonna be one of your math instructors for these online courses. We're gonna start with Mod 6, Topic B, Eureka Math. Today's topic is arrays and equal groups. Lesson five will be composing arrays. Lesson six, decomposing arrays. Lesson seven, representing arrays. Lesson nine, solving word problems. And the topic B quiz. Our learning intention is I can use arrays to solve word problems. I know I have it when I can compose arrays to find the total number of objects. I can decompose arrays to relate it to repeated addition. So some vocabulary you're gonna be using all throughout this unit is arrays. Arrays are things that you put into rows and columns. So they're items and objects in rows and columns. A column is vertical groups of items in a rectangular array. And rows are horizontal groups that go this way in a rectangular array. So arrays, columns, and rows. Let's do some fluency. We are making the next hundred. So let's find the missing part to make the next hundred. If I say 170, you say 170 plus 30 equals 200. Are you ready? All right, 190. You say 190 plus 10 equals 200. 160, you say 160 plus 40 equals 200. 260, you say 260 plus 40 equals 300. Hmm, did anybody see the pattern in these numbers? I saw it. If you said this number, 260 is just 100 more than or greater than 160, then you're right. So the add in 40 stays the same. If you notice those patterns, you'll do great. All right, our application problem we're gonna start out with is from lesson five. Mrs. White is in the line at the bank. There are four teller windows and three people are standing in line at each window. If you were to draw these people standing in line, this is what your picture would look like. So we have a line with three people, another line, three lines, and four lines. So a teller is the person who works at the bank. They're the person that takes your money and does all the transactions and types in the computer and helps you out with what you need at the bank. So these people are waiting in the teller window to get their banking done. So if we counted the total number of people in this drawing, we would get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 people. So we're gonna write the total number of people with our label, don't forget your label, 12 people. Good job. All right, that is called composing an array. Okay, we remember decomposing and composing. Composing an array is making one, okay? So now we're gonna talk about another thing. Let's do application problem from lesson six. Sam is organizing her greeting cards. Have you ever got a birthday card from a grandma or your mom or your aunt or your uncle and you like to sort them out and keep them maybe for later so you can read them when you get older? That's pretty cool. Well, Sam organized hers by color. She has eight red cards and eight blue cards. She puts the red cards in two columns, remember columns are vertical, and the blue ones in two columns to make an array. This is a picture of what her array would look like. Two columns of red cards, two columns of blue cards. And if we compose that array, that group of items in columns, because it says columns, then we can write a statement about that. Four red cards plus four red cards plus four blue cards plus four more blue cards is 16. If we were to write a statement, we would write, Sam has 16 greeting cards. OK, 
okay? We took this array that we composed and then we decomposed it or we broke it down. And these fours represent columns because these cards are in columns that go up and down. Okay, so four in a column, four in another column, four in another column, four in another column is 16 greeting cards. And we total up the number that were in the whole array. So we made it, we composed it, and then we decompose it and we broke it down into each individual column. Okay, let's look at another one. Okay, this is the application problem from lesson number seven. Bobby puts three rows of tile in his kitchen to make a design. Now, what are tiles? Tiles are those things that you walk on, like at school, on the floor, there's square tiles. They're the things that make up the floor. So he, Bobby, lays five tiles in each row. How many rows did he have? That's right, three rows. So he has three rows and he lays five tiles in each row. So if we were to draw a picture, this is what Bobby's tiles would look like three rows, one row, remember it's horizontal, another row, and your third row. And in each row is five tiles because that's what our problem says. So five in this row, five in that row, five in the next row, and this is what it would look like if we wrote a repeated addition problem. Five tiles plus five more tiles plus the last five tiles are 15. So five, 10, 15. If we were to write a sentence, we would say Bobby used 15 tiles. So this is your composing, this is your decomposing, and guess what? You just did a word problem. That's pretty exciting. What did the zero say to the eight? Hmm. Nice belt. <laughs> If you've read the book 789, you remember this joke from that book. And if you haven't read it, maybe you can read it today. Have a great day. See you next time.